CTO demonstrates various research undertaken at the I3D lab of Indian Institute of Science. We will go through a series of video demonstrations developed at the I3D lab. The first demonstration shows an interactive head-up display developed through a funded project through Porisia. In this demonstration video, we can see that we can reflect the display of a tablet computer on the windscreen and we can operate this display through eye gaze as well as gaze share. The display is also integrated with the distraction detection and cognitive load estimation feature that can increase safety of driving. Drivers can play music, control various winds inside the vehicle using this interactive head-up display. In the same display has been uh, tested in both static car for a driver as well as inside a moving vehicle for a first seat passenger. This part of the video is showing the same interactive head-up display controlled by eye of user inside a moving vehicle. It may be seen that the same display can be operated under the usual vibration and varying lighting conditions of a actual road. We have also tested this display through gesture control and virtual touch feature. We used a leap motion controller and uh, drivers as their will can switch between eye gaze and uh, finger control display to use the same set of functionalities. The display uh, is also equipped with uh, distraction detection feature and uh, provides both uh, visual and auditory feedback if the driver is not looking ahead uh, for a certain duration of time. The cognitive load estimation feature has been rigorously evaluated through psychometric study as well as uh, driving simulation study in lab. We used EEG-based ground truth metric and developed a machine learning model using various ocular parameters like pupil dilation, saccadic intrusion, rate of fixation. Initial validation shows that uh, we can detect change uh, in driver's mental state due to oncoming road hazard as well as undertaking secondary task. After laboratory studies, the same set of algorithm has also been evaluated with a set of 13 drivers on, in, inside actual vehicle driven in a, inside uh, an Indian road. So in this part of the video, we will see that uh, um, the, an eye gaze tracker is non-invasively non tracking driver's uh, eye gaze and uh, different ocular parameters. And our machine learning model is showing either a green or red circle where the driver is looking at. If we detect a changing driver's affective state, we uh, show it by a red circle. We have extended our work on uh, interactive HUD and cognitive load estimation for semi-autonomous and autonomous vehicle. And we integrated this technology with a virtual reality car simulator. Here, a virtual agent is driving the car and a set of uh, convolutional neural network is detecting uh, different uh, traffic participants on road and uh, we developed a system where we combined output of the convolutional neural network with our cognitive load estimation module to estimate the total 
uh, right quality of uh, uh, vehicle. Later on, we uh, analyzed in detail that how a uh, convolutional neural network work inside an autonomous vehicle. So in this part of the video, we worked on uh, Indian road dataset and investigated uh, accuracy and latency of existing convolutional neural network in detecting uh, traffic participants inside Indian road, which is uh, very different than Western road. We published our initial results uh, in uh, automotive uh, UI conference and uh, recently we are looking at visualization of convolutional neural network uh, and we are looking at both intermediate layer visualization as well as uh, heat map visualization and uh, this research is uh, helping us to understand that how convolutional neural network works and in turn will also help us to develop better object detection modules uh, which can be used in autonomous vehicles for unusual traffic participants. Our research in automotive was also extended in aviation domain, in particular military aviation domain. We demonstrated IGS controlled head mounted display system and uh, multifunction displays in Aero India 2019. Here we were tracking both head movement and IGS movement of users and we can activate either head mounted display system or a multifunction display key setup in a head down configuration using eye gaze of the pilot. Like the automotive environment, we have also used the uh, ocular parameter to estimate uh, cognitive load of pilot. And for that, we undertook uh, user studies in uh, real aircraft, undertaking various maneuvers like barrel loop and uh, constant G load factor maneuvers. Initially, we collected data from co-pilot and later on we moved to the first seat pilot and we collected data at various G level and uh, investigated effect of G load factor on ocular parameters. So in this video, we recorded data from the co-pilot who is sitting behind pilot. And the next video, we recorded uh, similar ocular parameters from a pilot of a Hawk trainer aircraft where he undertook a air to ground dive attack. involved with improving and developing a virtual reality cockpit for an actual aircraft and we are working on improving legibility and uh, activating multifunction display through eye case for a virtual reality cockpit. We are also using computer vision modules inside a virtual reality cockpit to improve legibility of various uh, screen captions and different screen elements. And we are also working on 
developing a space shuttle crew modules using virtual reality and we are planning to measure i guess and uh, hand movement of uh, space crew while undertaking different mission control task and wants to use the virtual reality module to improve design of the actual spaceship module we work with uh, the spastic society of india at chennai or vidyasagar where our technology found useful application for users with uh, cerebral palsy their condition is known as severe speech and motor impairment as they cannot talk and they have very little uh, body movement due to paralysis of their uh, limbs we developed a i guess controlled video see through interface using that um, users with ssmi or severe speech and motor impairment they can control uh, physical objects and operate the robotic arm and the system found uh, application in their reha rehabilitation as part of the work we also developed a webcam control digest tracker in which they need not to buy a separate uh, device for eye tracking rather they can use a laptop camera or a standard uh, web camera for eye gaze control and the whole system is integrated to this uh, webcam based uh, gaze controlled system and using that they can control the robotic manipulator just using the webcam the same system can be applied beyond robotics like for semi autonomous uh, ground vehicle and aerial vehicle control and we are also investigating research uh, on controlling both a ground vehicle as well as a aerial vehicle semi autonomously towards a target we are involved with a smart manufacturing or industry four project in which we are developing a digital twin for a smart manufacturing setup and we are developing interactive sensor dashboard which shows the number of people and weather condition inside a smart factory the system is also integrated with live video and we can convert this virtual reality digital twin to a mixed reality digital twin where an operator can look at both interactive dashboard as well as control a unmanned aerial unmanned ground vehicle using a virtual reality controller and get live feedback inside the vr environment our work on digital twin was extended to uh, modeling office spaces and also showing a covid dashboard through a funded project from british telecom in this project we are developing interactive sensor dashboard to measure occupancy of meeting room so we can use a camera and a convolutional neural network to detect persons and feed this information in real time into a digital twin which shows humanoid figures based on the number of people present inside a room and anyone from a remote place can measure the occupancy of the room since we can detect person the same system can be extended to enforce uh, social distancing as well considering the covid-19 pandemic situation so we developed system in which we can stream a synthetic video to a convolutional neural network and the cnn can detect number of people 
and the physical distance between them and based on that it can measure whether social distancing is enforced or not and uh, how long and when this is violated finally in the last slide we show various press coverages of our work